At Corn Husker Auto Center, bragging is not our style, but that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great people, easy transaction, went out of their way to help. Thank you. Amazing place to buy a vehicle. Great staff all around. I would recommend Corn Husker Auto to anyone. Welcome to Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes. Well, we're on the eve of the Girl State Tournament, and the Norfolk Daily News will be following 11 area teams in Lincoln starting on Wednesday. North Bend Central will be looking to defend its state championship in Class C1. The Tigers had to defeat East Husker Conference rival West Point Beamer twice in both the sub-district and district finals to qualify for state. North Bend coach Aaron Sterup that his team has peaked at the right time. And sometimes it's tough to motivate, you know, but this group, uh, we had a little lull in the middle of the year, I think, when they got a little tired, but uh, when it, we got down to the end here, they really ground, grinded, and, and uh, we're working hard. This week was a great week of practice, they knew it was ahead of them, so it's good to have that much experience back, for sure. Winnebago joins North Bend in the Class C1 field. Four of the eight teams challenging for the Class C2 state title Hail from Northeast and North Central Nebraska, including Bancroft Rosalie Lions Decatur, which defeated a scrappy North Central team composed of players from Rock County and Kiepaha High Schools in the district final. The Wolverines will tangle with Wood River in the state champ tournament. Top seeded Crofton takes on Centennial in the opener, and Guardian Angels Central Catholic and Ponca will square off in the Class C2 opening round nightcap. Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family and Hardington Cedar Catholic will carry Northeast Nebraska's colors in Class D1, while Humphrey St. Francis, Chambers Wheeler Central, and defending state champion Why Not will represent the area in Class D2. Meanwhile, 10 Northeast and North Central Nebraska boys teams will challenge for state championship hardware when their tournament begins March 10th. The Mid-State Conference will be well represented as both Pierce and Wayne won district championship games that most statewide pundits would call up upsets. Pierce over Wahoo and Wayne over Ogallala. Another mid-state team, Hardington Cedar Catholic, is in the Class C2 field. The Trojans had to defeat a couple of area challengers in Lutheran High Northeast and Wakefield to punch their ticket to Lincoln where they could meet up with two-time defending state champion BRLD. Three area teams, Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family, Howells Dodge, and Walt Hill have earned their way into the Class D1 field, while O'Neill St. Mary's, Humphrey St. Francis, and Why Not have punched their tickets to the capital city via the Class D2 route. Good luck to all 21 of the area girls and boys teams that will challenge for state tournament hardware these next two weeks. And thanks for watching Post Game with Paul.